A Cordova woman's car recovered just hours after she was carjacked, but the victim says it may be a while before she and her children recover from the terrifying ordeal. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. Tonight, police are still looking for the carjackers. WRG's Melissa Moon joins us live outside police headquarters in downtown Memphis with the very latest. What do you know, Melissa? Good evening. Well, this happened at a busy Cordova gas station, and the victim said she had to convince the guys with the guns to let her get her kids before they took off in her car. Demika Leakes was on empty when she pulled into this gas station at North Germantown Parkway in Dexter Thursday morning. She says her 15-year-old daughter ran inside the Circle K to get some snacks, and she started filling up her car. I pumped four cents. When two men got out of a white Altima, pointed guns at her and told her to give up her vehicle. I looked down and saw the gun and instantly I knew what was about to happen. She says that's when she began pleading with the carjackers to let her get her nine-year-old son and 11-year-old twin daughters out of the back seat. I said, please just let me get my kids, just let me get my kids out of the car. And he said, get them and hurry up. So, I, you know, my kids, I'm saying, come on, get out, get out. Several hours later, she was still too shaken to show her face on camera and worried about her children. They were so afraid, it was like they were frozen. With no security cameras near the pumps that might have captured the crime, Leeks decided to turn to Facebook for help. It wasn't long before she heard from a FedEx driver who thought he had spotted her charger in the middle of a street in Frazier. The call went from a phone call to a FaceTime call to, is this your car? And it was my car. She thinks the carjackers just ran out of gas. Leek says she's angry because in just seconds they shattered her whole sense of security. I'm going to definitely take different measures now. I probably won't go to the gas station with them again just because, you know, I don't know. You know, I felt safe at 645 in the morning in the vicinity of my home. Now, Leek says after her carjacking, she learned through a neighborhood app that there have been two similar incidents at that same ga gas station this week. Police have not confirmed that yet, but employees there said they knew about it. Now, that car was found on Carrollton in Frazier. Police are now processing it for evidence. If you know anything about this carjacking, call Crime Stoppers 901 528 cash in downtown Memphis. Melissa Moon, WREG News Channel 3. All right, a little ridiculous when you can't even buy gas. Melissa, thanks.